Let's learn some of the useful features available in Terraform AshiCorp language. In this variables.tf file, where here I'm declaring the variables that I want to use in my main Terraform template, here I'm creating multiple variables with different types. Those types could be a string or a number representing an integer, a boolean that could be true or false. This could be also a list that could be a list of string or a list of boolean or a list of numbers. And here we can define the different items for that list. That those types could be also a map, a map of a string or any other type, where here we can define key value pairs, like I'm doing here for the different uh, uh, custom tags that I want to use in my resources. And then we have some other features like the sensitive, with sensitive equal true here means that Terraform will not output the value of this variable on the output console. And then we have some other nice features here related to the validation. And this is really nice. Here, we, when we want to try or to let the user choose a resource group name, for example, we want to validate that name. So that name should have at least three characters and it should start with rg dash. And we can run that validation here through using the validation keyword. We specify the condition, those uh, two conditions that should be true. And so note here how we also you how we are using the length and substring uh, functions available in Terraform. If that validation doesn't succeed, then we'll go to show an error message saying that that uh, resource group should must be valid and should start with rg minus, like we have those functions, length and substring, we have also some other functions like can, and we can apply a regex to that resource group name. Here in my second variable called location, I'm also running a validation, and the condition here is some uh, multiple conditions that should be true. So here I'm, I'm checking if the location that uh, I'm choosing here is in East US and or uh, West Europe. If that's not the case, I'll show up a message here saying that that region should be one of these two values. Note how that could be also achieved through using the contains function where we can check the uh, value entered by the user and compare it to the list that we have here. Now moving to the main.tf file, here I'm using this locals keyword to define variables that will be used in this uh, template. So here I'm defining uh, common tags and I'm using it to uh, create a map with key values. And then I'm using that uh, value, that local value in, my re in the declaration of my resource group, where here I'm specifying that uh, I'm using it as the tags for my resource group. So I'll use here the keyword local dot, then the name of that uh, local variable. Another useful feature available in Terraform is the keyword for each. This one will allow you to create multiple instances of a resource. So in this case here, this will create multiple instances of a resource group that will have different names and locations depending on what was specified in this uh, uh, map. So each time the name will be the key, that's the key of the uh, key value pairs of my map. That means those keys will be the dev, test and prod. So this will create three resource groups. Each one would have the different uh, values. And then the value that will take the value for the key value pairs, that's going to be East US, West, West US 2 and West Europe. Let's now try to run this from the console. So I'll bring the terminal. So here I'll try to run the command Terraform plan. And then I'll try to input some invalid values for the resource group name, like the one I have here. So that won't be uh, valid for the constraint that I have specified here. And the same for the location where I specify East Europe, that is a value that is not allowed in my list here. And that tells me here that I have two invalid values. One is invalid a value for the variable rg name because it doesn't start with rg minus as it starts with this one. And the second is for the location because it it doesn't respect the constraints that I have specified. Let's now run a test to check if really five instances or three instances of this resource group will be created or three resource groups will be created actually. 
So for that, I run the command terraform plan and I uh, apply the default values, which which are uh, valid for the constraints that I've created. And here I'll check the different resources that will be created. And here it tells me the plan will create four resources. And if I check here, those four resources will be the global resource group and then three other ones, which will be my dev, test and production resource groups as I have specified into here. Great, so those were some of the cool features available in the Terraform AshiCorp language. If you want to check the source code for, the, uh, for these scripts that we have used today, go check out this GitHub repository to find the today's demo available in this folder 20TF features. If you want to learn more about uh, the uh, Terraform syntax, then you can check the Terraform documentation, where here they are talking about all the different types that you can use, how you can use them in your templates to create more powerful uh, templates. And if you are looking for more content from my side related to uh, cloud containers, Kubernetes, and DevOps, then I would invite you to check out my YouTube channel where you would find some interesting content for you.